We gotta get one. Yeah, we did it! Ooh. What's up everybody? Welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm happy to announce a brand new robot. This here is the all new DJI Robomaster EPP. EPP. The famous, the magnificent, the Robomaster is back with the claw. That is right, folks. This here is the all-new RoboMaster e Core, a brand new version of the original RoboMaster with a gripper. This particular gripper allows you to go ahead and program it to the full extent, allowing you to go ahead and create maneuvers and even create your own factory if you really wanted to. Now, if you guys wanted your very own, be sure to check out DJI's link down below in the description. So, in this episode here, we'll be unboxing it, building it, trying it out, and seeing exactly what it's all about. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so this is the box, and overall it's got a pretty cool appearance. Uh, it does showcase the product right here on the front. Uh, you can just see the claw built into the RoboMaster. Now, obviously, this creates a different foundation of being able to create an educational robot based off the original RoboMaster, which was essentially a shooting robot. Now, uh, on the side here, it talks about a little bit in terms of details on what you can do with it. So you can go ahead and use SDK, uh, and it has a high performance mechanical arm. Uh, you can go ahead and use the teaching resources. So technically there's project-based courses. So you can go ahead and learn about programming and coding and all that fun stuff. Now, there's also competitions, including competition regulations that included with this, as well as practical hands-on learning and customizable competition arrangements per se. Now, let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what's inside this particular kit. Now, we've previously reviewed the original RoboMaster. Um, that one was actually a built model by our friend Michael, uh, but this one here should be a full kit that we'll be building today. So let's go ahead and open this up. Ho oh, ho ho! Alright, we got a lot going on here. We have layers and layers of stuff. Uh, we got ourselves a quick start guide. Uh, so this here is going to be our step-by-step -step directional on how to go ahead and build this bad boy, uh, which should be quite some fun in the end of it. Uh, now you also have a few other panels, so you have numbers, so you can go ahead and teach the robot to do a variety of tasks. And then we have all these little wheels. So these here are little components that will create our Omni wheels. I'll line to go ahead and move in all different directions of the panel. Uh, there is a lot of pieces and from what I've been told, it is quite difficult to do. So we are up for that challenge. Oh, this is a big one. Okay. Woo -hoo. All right, so it looks like we have our main unit. So this here is gonna be our component or the foundation of it. Uh, so this is kind of what the whole entire frame is and what's gonna be built around it. Uh, and then we have a few different components over here. Uh, looks like we have ourselves uh, some brackets, some mortars, which is kind of cool to see. Check that out. That is a pretty heavy duty motor. Uh, now these here are the M3508 eyes. Uh, and then it's got a plug and play feature, which is kind of cool to see on how this is all gonna play out. Uh, now we have our wireless component over here. So this here is our intelligent controller. So you have the antennas uh, and then you have a few of the inputs on the sides here. Uh, so you have both the phone connection and the controller connection. We have a USB cable. So we have some sensors here, which is kind of cool to see. Uh, so we have four of these guys and then we have our camera, a little tiny guy right over here. So we have ourselves a DJI F2.4 120 degree uh, FOV camera. And then we have ourselves a sensor or a speaker, I'm not sure, or a buzzer. And yeah, cool stuff. Let's go ahead and set this to the side. See what else is in here. All right, another layer of goodies. All right, so we have some clear plastic casings. Uh, and then, ah, that's nice. We have a little screw box. 
Actually, not that much as I was uh, imagining with this particular robotic kit. I mean, we've made a lot of robotic kits before and there's usually a lot more screws than that. So I'm not sure if there's more places for screws, but that is our screw kit. Uh, these here are our wheels. Um, again, we have to build our wheels using the Omni wheel uh, rubber panels. So we have our AC power adapter. Uh, we have a few more panels. So you got a lot, a lot of panels in here. Uh, this might be just the casing to hold our stuff in place for while we build our wheel. And then we have our port connector. All right, I'm gonna put that to the side. So, so far we got all these goodies over here, which is really neat. And then we're on to our next, another one. My, this thing just keeps going. Ah, so now we have ourselves our ultrasonic sensor. That's pretty cool looking. Uh, we have a metal bracket. So this here is actually definitely sturdy stuff right over here. Ah, like I predicted, another screw box. So here's screw box B. So you have two different screw boxes. You have screw box A and screw box B. So just keep that in mind. Holy moly, this thing just keeps going. This one says CAN bus select. A lot of different things going on here. So it should be kind of interesting to see how this all plays out in terms of how we're gonna go ahead and build this thing. Uh, we have a lot more, this is all our cables right over here. So we have a cable management system right there. Um, and then we have, oh, look at this claw. Whoa, that's pretty gnarly stuff. So yeah, I mean, we have ourselves a huge amount of work ahead of us, but it should be quite some fun. So yeah, I mean, definitely a high quality standard pieces, uh, especially compared to some of the other kits I've seen before. You could tell that they really did precisely build this thing. I mean, the ultrasonic sensor does not look like your typical ultrasonic sensor. You can see that they put their nice little spin on it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and queue up that montage and build ourselves a RoboMaster. So this here is our final product and interesting to say it was a very unique process of building. Now I have previously built a lot of different robots but this one here wasn't difficult just different mainly because it re requires a different variation of building techniques that I have not seen before particularly the wheel. Now these here are omnidirectional wheels meaning you can go ahead and go forward back rotate and you can even go ahead left and right at the same time. So you have to build these wheels using almost like this weird mechanism that kind of houses it together and then you just kind of bolt it back into place. And the overall process itself was quite easy to use and it was pretty straightforward. Now I kind of did wish that the diagrams were a little bit clearer uh, as I did have a little bit of trouble finding the parts and exactly kind of bringing the manual closer to my face and make them better understand exactly how it all comes together. Now, this here is the final product. So you get this Omni Wheel Robo Master with an arm built on top of it. Now, this here is our Wi-Fi hub, which essentially connects to our phone. Uh, but again, you can always go ahead and connect it to a controller as well. Uh, you have your camera here on the top, uh, giving you a nice crisp quality with this interesting looking claw that also flexes. So it doesn't just kind of grasp it like this. It turns its arms and kind of hugs whatever you're trying to grab. Now, you have a different variety of hit sensors on the front, the back, and the sides. And then you can even see a transparency of all the different uh, mechanisms here and all the wires kind of plug into place. Now, this will actually open up right here and this here's our battery pack. So we just go ahead and uh, push this button right here. It'll pop right out. You just go ahead and plug it in just like that as well. And then you'll go ahead and turn it on by holding this button down. There we go. And we have a Robo Master. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try this guy out. Now, I went ahead and connected to the Wi-Fi of the robot uh, after turning it on, of course, from the back button, and we're gonna click on Robo Master. Now, from there, uh, we have our main menu, which is this pretty cool looking screen. So this here showcases our robot. We can kind of go ahead and move it about and get a nice 3D perspective of the robot itself and how it looks. Now we also have our other robot there on the back. That's the original. 
Uh, but this one here is unique because it has the gripper. So you can go ahead and try out the robot by simply clicking solo. Whoa! <laughs> so you can see us right over there. Hey guys! <laughs> and yeah, I mean like the quality of this is really nice. It's got a nice wide range. So this here is actually filming at 120 degrees, which is kind of neat. And you can see that the way it looks is actually quite high quality. Now we go ahead and first move our robot uh, just like this directly in front of us and we'll click this little calibration button. There you go, now the robot is calibrating. All right, and it's finally calibrated. Now the movements for the basic controls, you have a joystick on the left here and a one on the right. So if I hit right, the robot will move right just like that. If I hit left, it'll go left. If I move forward, it'll go forward. If I click back, it'll go back. Uh, so you can see that it's actually a pretty interesting design and how it kind of glides around. Now you also can go ahead and rotate it by simply pressing this button here just like that. And then of course you have your gripper. So if you click this gripper button here, you'll see that you have um, a few different things going on here. So let's go ahead and set it up just like this for right now. And if I go ahead and hit up, this one here on the left, it'll come out just like that. I can bring it back in just like that. If I hit the one on the right, I'll raise it and then I'll go ahead and bring it back down. I can go ahead and do both at the same time, just like this. So it gives you a full variation of range of movement. Now the claw here is on the right, so we can go open it or we can go ahead and close it. Uh, so based on whatever we're trying to do. So just for sake of argument, uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and place this little Plen 2 robot all right, so for this challenge here, we'll try out to see if we can grab this robot. So we'll go ahead and simply place them here just like this. And uh, let's see if we can grab this guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring out my claw, just like this, and bring it down. There we go. And then um, we'll go ahead and move up. All right, just like that, and we'll grip. There we go, got him by the leg. And bring him up, ah, success! <laughs> so you can go ahead and bring it back, and obviously move it around just like that. And then let's go ahead and open up our gripper. Ooh, <laughs> so yeah, kind of gives you an idea how that works out. Pretty fun stuff. Uh, again, very easy to control. Now, obviously there's more to this app than just controlling the robot. So if I click exit here, uh, we have a few different things. Uh, so you have battle mode. So battle mode allows you to go ahead and battle it out against the original RoboMaster. Uh, again, this here, you got the race mode, you got the free for all. Uh, you can't really shoot, but it's got the free for all. And then you have the conquest mode, which you go after these vision markers right over here, and you get points based off of that. Now, you can always go ahead and create your own custom game, so you can technically make a game based off of the gripper itself. Uh, but anyways, you can go ahead and click back, and then if we go to lab, we can technically program our robot for anything we like. So you have three different things. You have Road to Mastery, Do-It-Yourself Programming, and Robo Academy based on what you're liking. So you click on Do-It-Yourself. Uh, you have these different skills and different uh, programs that people have already made. So for instance, Twister here, if I just click this, this will essentially load up its own program here. So you can see that this will rotate the robot and hit play. And there you go. Pretty cool stuff, huh? So if I hit stop here, I can always go ahead and make adjustments based on my own uh, necessary. I can go ahead and click on this. Uh, rotation speed of say 500. Let's see if that works. And we'll rotate the chassis for five seconds. So let's see what happens. So full speed, five seconds rotating. And then it should rotate the other way. <laughs> so pretty cool stuff. So you can always program it, create your own program. Uh, you get full functionality from lights to sounds and stuff of that nature. Uh, so speaking of sounds, if I go back into the control unit of Solo, uh, there's a microphone. So if I hit the microphone here and say, Hey guys, this is Conflicts. Hey guys, this is Conflicts. That is so awesome! <laughs> so you can go ahead and technically program that, save that in there, talk throughout it, and move around and about. So I think the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and set this up for a real life challenge in which we'll create an own little obstacle course and see how it handles. So with that being said, let's go ahead and put it to the limits. All right, so we're ready to go ahead and try out this obstacle course that we created. So we're gonna go ahead and start off a road master here, go around this bend, go up there, either grab the robots or knock them off. Not sure yet, but we'll find out very shortly. 
And we got these two balls here. Hopefully we'll be able to get one of them in the hoop. This will kind of give us an idea of how this robot functions in terms of handling and capability to maneuver it. So let's see if this works. All right, okay. Three, two, one, go. All right, so far we're good there. Let's go ahead and rotate. Here we go, go straight up. Nice. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and line ourselves up here. Let's go ahead and move up slowly, roll it back down. And we're gonna switch over to the claw. Um, I'm just gonna set this up here. So we'll go ahead and bring this, whoop, not that way, forward and down. There we go. And we'll go up. Okay, well, I knocked one down. That's good enough. <laughs> Come on, give me one. <laughs> this is so hard. I think the hardest part is being able to control it at the same time. <laughs> got that down. One more. All right, got two. We're good. So now we gotta go bring it back down. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna switch over to the other mode. Rotate. And let's actually, we'll bring up our lift. There we go. Bring it back. Rotate. And let's see if we can grab this ball right over here. So hopefully this works. So hard. All right, there you go. So grab this ball right here. Let me see if I got it. There you go. Grip. Nice, I got it. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and put this in the hoop now. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would have been bad. All right, so. All right, so far we're, uh, we missed that one, but we did grab the ball, which is great. Uh, let's see if we can grab this ball here. Grab, nice. Bring it up. All right, we gotta get one. Yeah, we did it! Ooh. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, kind of gives you an idea how that works. Obviously, you know, it is a bit of a trial and error basis. Uh, definitely not easy to do, but yeah, there you guys have it. Uh, and with that being said, Thank you once again to DJI for sending over this amazing robot or what's left of it. And yeah, I hope you see you guys. <laughs> oh, let's, just, let's just fast forward. Let's fast forward. All right, well, there you guys have it. This here is the RoboMaster EP Core by DJI. Overall, a great functioning robot for anybody who's into robotics and is a particularly fan of DJI. This here is a very clean cut robotic kit that is very easy to build and very user friendly. Now you can always go ahead and expand on this and do a variety of different things and create a, your own fully functional robot that is designed for your own personal preference. Now, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you once again to the good folks over at DJI for sending us over and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.